Hi folks, John here. I just thought I'd explain a little bit about uh, this this second half of the trip or the whole trip, uh, just so you can. There, uh, hopefully you can see that okay. Now, uh, this here is Lady Smith. We sailed down around here to there. And we stayed for the night at Walker Hook. And then we went down here. And I put this here. Uh, we didn't stop there. Well, we might have for lunch. And then we sailed around to Cowichan Bay. And we stayed there for the night. And then we came through this set of narrows here. That's where the current was on the video. And then back up the shore to Ladysmith. So that gives you a kind of explanation on the on the trip. And so we got up helps. at Walker Hook and Dirk cooked us some more breakfast. And then, uh, you know, I just thought I'd show this video again. Uh, my granddaughter climbing the mast. We got some comments. Uh, I just want to say, you know, these kids, both of them, uh, Kaysen and Serenity do rock climbing in Kelowna and they just love it and she really gets excited when she gets to go uh, on a bit of a climb like this so this is like fun for those kids she you had know? safety stuff and she had a safety harness on a certified safety harness and my son uh, you know, he loves his daughter and he wouldn't want anything to happen to her. So he was doing all the safety things to make sure she was safe. And uh, for her, of course, it's just a bunch of fun. Uh, but she's a brave little girl. You know, we all believe for climbing up that mask and uh, getting that job done before we sailed out of Lady's Fest. So, yeah, I just thought I'd bring that up. Hope you enjoy the video. Like and subscribe. Uh, we'll try and get the rest of the trip on this video. Hopefully it's not too long. Uh, bear <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell everybody you're okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's our hero for the day. This is what you wake up to, you know, it's just a beautiful beach, walker hook. If you ever get a chance to go there, there's a campsite there as well. And then we sailed off. There we go. So, Malaya's moving. Ah, Captain Dirk's at the tiller. And say hi, Kaysen. Hi. Where is Serenity's inside, I suppose? Oh, say hi, Serenity. Say hi, Serenity. Hi. Are you having fun yet? Yes, I'm having loads of fun. We got the spinnaker out in the deck. It was all damp, so we're drying it. And, uh, Couple of sails back there, and we got no wind, so we're motor. But that's okay. Wind uh, usually don't get up till ten o'clock, so it always sleeps in. But I'm thinking about pulling some sails. Pretty morning. Sunshine. And that's where we came from. That beach straight out there. And we're headed for Long Harbor. I don't know if you can see this map, guys. That's where we are. Whoa. And we're going over here. 
Uh, we got the motor on half throttle and we're doing 5.1 knots. When we get this other motor mounted over here, we'll be able to do 10 knots, if we want. There's a ship over there, we're on our way down the shore we go. The red going behind us. Oh, we got waves. Ferry waves. No, oh, that's a ship that does go. Oh, we got somebody swabbing the decks. Look at that. Holy smokes. They get dirty easily. Can we call you Swabby? No. No. Hi, Swabby. I won't bring water at you. No playing with the water. We got beautiful sunshine, serenity swabbing the decks, church so making sandwiches. Oh, Kason's over there. Say hi, Case. Say hi, Serenity. Ew. So we're about halfway to uh, Couch in Harbor. Couch in there's a big ship, guys. Costco. Oh. That's a Costco boat. Wow. This is just coming into college today. Tomorrow we'll go through that channel right there. That goes to Maple Bay. Sails are down, tucked away a little bit. We didn't put the sail cover. Hey, look, a sight. Hi, YouTube. John, I never get on camera anymore. I, I'm the one holding the camera, so it's hard to get on camera. Anyway, I'll give you a little shot of me. I'm a pretty happy guy about this boat, I'll tell you. Performed wonderful today. Downwind, little beam reach. I don't know, we were doing uh, we had about a five knot downwind and we were doing about five or six knots most of the day coming down. I, I still want to get it out in uh, 12, 15 knots and see what she'll do. I know she's going to get, get up and giddy up. But that's, yeah. We're getting used to the boat. That's what we need to do. Test it, test it, and you know, slowly build up to you know those fast sails. In the future, there'll be lots of that too, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, we'll talk to you in a little while. We'll try to get anchored up here. Right. May I be able to tie up? There's a uh, wave Very break. There's a wave break coming up, and uh, yeah, they tie up to the wave break, so hopefully that's where we'll be. So we got into Ladysmith Harbor, and we uh, got up against the seawall. There's a place you can tie up there. It's a new seawall that they put in at Cowichan Harbor, and uh, if you stay the night, you can tie up there. So we tied up there and then, uh, of course, we had to get in a dinghy because the seawall is off of the shore. And uh, here's a shot of the kids coming in in Little Red to the dock. And uh, they wanted to wander around town a little bit like tourists, so they did that. And... Uh, College in uh, Bay is quite a community. You'll see here in uh, photographs that, uh, yeah, they have quite a few shops there. They have a liquor store, grocery store, ladies wear, uh, I don't know what all. The, and uh, they have a museum with the Wooden Boat Society. <clears throat> and it was closed, so we couldn't show you the museum. Uh, this is their dock, the Wooden Boat Society's dock, 
and uh, they have a ramp that you can pull boats up there and it's a co-op so it's reasonable for people to work on their wooden boats. And uh, then because, uh, you know, uh, it was my turn to cook, uh, so I decided that Dirk had treated us so well with the food on the weekend that we'd uh, sp spend an hour and go up to, uh, they have also houseboats in the harbor. There's, uh, I think, eight or ten houseboats. Uh, yeah, you can see the cars on the street. It's quite a little uh, community there that uh, is quite busy. This is in the wintertime, so you imagine in the summer what it's like. But uh, there's a big hotel there with a dining room that was open. Uh, some of the restaurants have closed down because of the COVID, of course hurt them so but the hotel survived and uh, so we went up to uh, the hotel <coughs> you could see the shops there's a pirate shack there's uh, ladies wear there uh, yeah I was impressed the first time I was in couch and then we went over to the hotel and uh, had some supper uh, the food's really good it's a good service, uh, so if you go to college and you want to stop for a lunch or supper, a great place to eat. The kids enjoyed it. They had kids' menus and kids' meals, and they got to order themselves. And kids always like that to be independent. And then we got a good night's sleep in the harbor. Uh, we were away from the community a little bit out on the seawall so uh, it was quiet and there wasn't much light out there so we got a good night's sleep and then in the morning uh, we cast off about 8 30 that morning and uh, headed through the narrows as you'll see and uh, past maple bay we didn't go into maple bay and then we headed back to lady smith and uh, the kids really... That's Maple Bay! We saw it close in. Here's a shot from far away. There's an arrow right in front of us. Big mountains all around us. The sun's coming up over there.
go guys, we're sailing. Uh, gotta get to some shots here. Got a little squall over there. There's a squall back there. These islands, uh, you know, the islands have such effect on the wind, it's incredible. It funnels and drops off mountains and oh, hard to predict what's going to happen. Well, we're moving pretty good. A little red over there. The motor's been off for a couple hours. That guy we were racing, he had his motor on, we figured. Couldn't figure out how he could sail faster in that little monohull than I could. But some of these guys are motor sailing, so you can't... Yeah. Anyway. It's alright. I forgive him. <laughs> Should have been sailing all this nice old breeze. You know, we just checked the wind and uh, it's blowing at three knots. You know, it comes down this channel and it builds waves and, yeah, not rough, just little waves, I don't know, 24 inch or something, maybe two and a half feet. We sail through that gap and then we go around the corner over there and then we go to uh, Porter Pass. Porter Pass goes to Georgia Strait. Straight across there is Vancouver. At night the uh, sky glows over there. <laughs> Wonder why. Hmm. This is Shamamus, sorry, the other one I, I showed you the mill that it was Crofton, I correct myself. This is Shamamus here. About, I don't know, five, six thousand people live here. Some way up in the hills. The big guy ship parked over there. See this island right in front of us, over there. Our flag's telling us what the wind's doing. We gotta change the setup here. We're gonna put a flagpole on a boat. Maybe I'll do a <coughs> do it yourself. Oh, the amount of flagpole <laughs> video, yeah, for everybody. Yeah. Put it up. Uh, <laughs> with the uh, but we got a temporary mass light down. We didn't get the bulb change. Little one who climbed up there said he couldn't. They couldn't unscrew the the lens for the bulb. So. <coughs> So we lowered them down. We'll, we'll get it done. Another day. Now we can put a temporary light up because we got a sheet to lift it. But I'll make sure I put a downline on it this time. <laughs> Raised the light up with no downline and the light got stuck up there. It wouldn't come down so we send somebody up to pull it down now when we put a light up we'll make sure best way to learn something make a mistake and you learn something if you want to be successful make lots of mistakes and learn lots <laughs> and if you're really smart learn by other people's mistakes that's a real definition there a white cloud on top of a black cloud. <laughs> Ominous looking. What's the red light or green lights over there, Dirk? There's a set of green lights on the shore. 
the mill. Trucker's lights for the mill, I guess. Maybe. For the way scale. Uh, yeah, or just parking lot lights. Yeah, it could be. Or street lights, yeah. Traffic lights. No, that's no parking. Oh. I know they've done a bunch of modifications at the mill. I guess they have to have anchor lights on those ships, eh? Uh, well, they're lit up at night, yeah. Yeah. Leave the lights on. So you could see them. That's where we came from. Crofton's a nice little town. It's probably about four or five thousand people, maybe a little more. Eight thousand. Yeah. It's a cool little town. Found some wind. Found some wind. Yeah. And some rain. Yeah. Here. Swing on. Found some wind, guys. He is sailing. A bit of a downwind beam. Waves are getting up a little. Boat over here. So we got anchored. Uh, we got into Ladysmith Harbor about oh, two, two thirty, three o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, there we are coming into the morning. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. Uh, we got over to the mooring and. Got all moored up there. And like I say, you know, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.